Hey guys, I'm Merlin, and you're watching DKM TV. In today's episode, we're going to review KWA's MP7A1 submachine gun. KWA's HK MP7A1 is constructed of high quality, high impact ABS plastic, with the exception of the two side rails and the top rail, which are made out of metal. The top rail also includes sights both in the front and the back, that include pistol sights and pop-up sights. The internals are, made, are also made out of metal, the gearbox and the gears, the inner barrel and the outer barrel, and the magazine. The MB7 is also truly ambidextrous, as the mag release, the slide release, and the charging handle can be accessed from both sides of the weapon. The only exception is the button to release the two position stock. Now one of the issues I have heard and experienced with the MP7 is that the weapon will jam after 10, 15 shots in fully auto. Uh, in my experience, if you do not stack the BBs properly in the magazine, such as this, if there's any one BB that's stacked on top of each other and not in a complete zipper formation such as this, the bolt will catch as if the magazine is empty. This video is brought to you by Airsoft Square. This video is brought to you by Bioshot BBs. Leave nothing behind. Now that's how the gun shot. Now let's see how it chronos, both in the heat and in the cold. Alright guys, so you've seen all the tests that we've put KWA's MP7A1 through. Now just to talk a little bit about the gun itself. Um, it is a really high quality build. It feels um, real nice, um, but not as heavy as your standard M4 or M16. It's, uh, it lays down great suppression fire, it's great for concealment, uh, and, and it would make an excellent secondary weapon now, a couple of downsides to this weapon is, out of the box, it is not CQB friendly. It's barely even field friendly. Uh, right out of the box, I was shooting right at 405, 406. It, it's, it's come down a little bit now. I, I, I don't know if it's the heat or whatnot, but it's, it's shooting around uh, 390. So, for fields, that's pretty good. That's right there at the, at the limit. And it, it depends on if your field chronos with .20s or .25s, but with .25s, Right now, it's shooting about 390. Also, another downside is these magazines. Uh, they are gas blowback magazines, so you need to be real careful not to drop them, uh, break the seal, basically, or any of the O-rings. Um, basically, there's, there's a lot of potential for leaks with these. Also, unlike your standard AEG mag, uh, these are roughly anywhere from 40 to $50. So if you... Uh, Come Christmas time, if they offer a player's pack with uh, one gun and two magazines, I'd pick it up. That's that's how I picked it up with two magazines, um, and I had to spend another, you know, ninety to one hundred dollars for two additional magazines for a total of four. And uh, these magazines hold around forty to fifty BBs, 
Um, so you're kind of limited on, on your uh, your ammo. But again, if you use this for a secondary weapon, four magazines is, is more than enough. Uh, you probably don't even have four pistol, uh, more than four pistol magazines um, as it is. So this is uh, a little bit better uh, than a pistol as a secondary. Um, gives you a good uh, rate of fire as a secondary. And again, you know, um, a little bit more ammunition than you would with a pistol. Okay, guys, that was our review on KWA's MP7A1. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to our channels for further reviews and news in the airsoft world. Make sure to subscribe to our blog. It's www.merlinsblogspot.com.